Today's video is part of an ongoing partnership with Squarespace. If you're looking to build your own website, head to squarespace.com forward slash Freya Farrington and use the discount code Freya Farrington for 10% off your first purchase. I'm going to be completely revamping my blog using Squarespace over the next couple of months. So more on that later. And now let's get on to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am throwing it back to the old school videos and one that I have done a couple of times and you guys used to request all the time and it is an everything5pounds.com haul. I have an event coming up of which I needed a dress for so I picked out 10 dresses at £5 each and I'm going to unbox them with you. My eyes are always out for the bargains so if you like that kind of thing do subscribe, hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Oh, let's just tip it up shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I put two of these in my basket, so I'm just gonna put one over there for now and that'll be going straight back. That was an accident on my part. I've actually also experimented with a bit of colour in this haul and some of them are looking a bit too garish for me, but we'll get there eventually. Starting in my comfort zone with a white dress, this is a nice high neck, cold shoulder detail, sleeve simple mini dress and the way that everything five pounds.com works if you've never shopped it before is that they have a whole different variety of brands that I don't know quite how it works but I guess send them old stock or discontinue stock or however it works but they usually cut out the label or they'll cover it if it's a well-known high street store you'll see as we go throughout the video though you can still kind of tell where they come from which is kind of part of the fun in my opinion what I'll do is I'll try and link everything below but they don't last long on the website so if you want any of these items any that are still left I'll leave links I'm actually on their mailing list and I would recommend being put on the mailing list because every day it seems or at least every couple of days they'll send you some new in bits and I find that really helpful so dress number one tick from me so far okay dress number two in mind I had this as like a well most of these are like for a races day or summer occasion something like that and this was a very simple dress with me I'm a big fan of less is more and I really like simple designs and this color is like a nice nude for summer that is the brand real form London in a size 10. This is like a kind of skater style a hem as you can see at the bottom where it's shorter at the front and longer at the back. Now out of the packet and actually looking at it in person it's nice and thick it's a really thick fabric but it is a bit boring for me I think and I don't know if that style is a little bit dated. I mean I feel like this is a dress that you really need to accessorise up. Next up I'm going to go in with this dress which is from, see this is what I mean by they cover out the label, but you can tell it's from United Colours of ben Benetton. Benetton, Benetton. You know the brand that I'm talking about. See how they've crossed it out? That's kind of what they do. So this is a very simple boxy style and I didn't actually realise the stripe design when I saw it online. I thought it was a kind of muted sage green kind of colour but it's actually a striped design. I love a good puffy sleeve. I think they're so in at the minute and any kind of sleeve detail. This material and actually the stripes reminds me of an old school dress. You know like in primary school. My school colours always tended to be blue and white. What were your school colours? I never had green I don't think or red. I, I think I was always blue. Okay where to next? Let's go with a, a pop of colour. Let's go with this lilac colour. And I do like it, but you guys know I'm just gravitated and drawn towards the neutrals. Always am and always will be. But I like to experiment a little bit, especially with this haul, with it being 10 different dresses. I really wanted to try a complete variety. So this one is from the brand Miss Truth and it's in a size UK 10. And it is a very pretty design. If this... I don't know, am I brave enough to wear this colour? It's a very colourful dress. If you guys follow me, you'll know that this is like not typical for me. I love the little ruched in waist. It's got a little tie at the back 
a nice little frill hem there at the bottom. I don't know if it's a little bit granny or if it's actually pretty. Let me know. <sighs> this dress has made the entire haul. Honestly, mm. let me just show you, let me just show you. So you guys know I'm loving the lemon kind of tones at the minute. And this for me is the perfect lemon yellow shade. It's very subtle, yet it's still, oh, it's just beautiful. And this had like a satiny kind of print on it that wasn't obvious on the website. I could see it, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. And the fabric and everything of this is really nice. And it is quite long, but it does have a nice generous slit up the front there. And I've seen what brand this is. I mean, they've cut it out, but you can tell where it's from. So you can imagine how much of a discount this would have been from the original price. With it now just being five pounds, this is beautiful. This, I... It's a winner for me. I'm definitely keeping this. Right, I'm going to go in with a pink number now. I actually have two pink items, both of which are more pink than I was expecting them to be. But I'll show you nonetheless, because pink's not one that I'm really drawn to. If it's a really subtle, soft pink, then I don't mind. But this is an obvious pink, and it's also even got darker pink straps, which I'm not a fan of. This, again, is a simple satiny slip dress style, and I love that style. I also love where it's from, as you can tell by the type, don't tell by the title, tell by the label. It was Topshop. I mean, I don't know if you guys recognise that as Topshop, but that, for me, is obvious. So this was originally Topshop. Again, you can imagine what the original price would have been for that. If the straps had been the same colour, I'd have been tempted to keep it, but I do think I'll send this back. The bottom is what is making me send it back more than anything. If I really wanted to, at just £5, I don't think anything's lost if I were to cut out this darker pink colour. This trim here, I just, I'm not a fan of. It's a bit too mermaid, fishtail-like, and I'm not really a big fan of that. I don't mind a subtle ruffle, but that's an obvious ruffle. It's like a senorita vibes, which is just not my style at all. So if I were to keep it, I would probably take out that dark pink bit and maybe even change the straps, but that's too much of a hassle for me. And I had the intention of getting one dress for an event. The yellow one has trumped it so far. I do like the lilac one as well. I think that's a pretty day dress, but this one will probably go back, which is a real shame actually. I'm, I'm kind of talking myself into maybe just cutting this trim but out. Oh, I don't know. What should I do, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, this is another one I'm definitely keeping. I can just tell... Well, I mean, I need to try it on, but I can tell by the fabric and the quality. I can tell where it's from. Let me just show you where it's from. As you can tell, it's from New Look. And this is a black satiny slip dress. I'm a big fan of these satiny slip dresses. These are the only three that I've got, I promise. But this is the third and I've ended up just showing them all in a row. But that was unintentional. But if you also like this satiny slip dress style dress, then this one for me is probably my favourite alongside the yellow one. The yellow one is a maxi dress though, like I need heels with that. This is more midi, so I also wouldn't wear this to the occasion that I'm going to because it's going to be very summery, but this is a really good all year rounder slip dress which I'm just, I love that style and I'm so happy I found this one. Hopefully all of these are still going to be in stock for you guys. I picked it up in a 10. Okay, I'll show you the other pink dress that I picked up. And this is a far more subtle baby pink. This is the original brand. And it's a very cute girly. I think that's what's putting me off this, is that it's a little bit too girly for me. If it had been in white, I'd have kept it. But the lacy kind of details, the crochet, the dot what's this called where it's got dots on the fabric i got this in a medium i mean it's okay but like i said if this had been in white i'd have kept it if i'm on a spectrum of girly and masculine i'm probably right in the middle if it's too girly i won't like it if it's too masculine no but i like a bit of androgynous and a bit of milkmaid style but that's a little bit 
too close to the very girly end of the spectrum for me. The next dress is scary. So neon is a bit of a trend. It's one that I've not really ventured into. This is pretty neon. It's subtle neon because it's a neon like trim of the lace. It's not too in your face and it has a nude underlayer to it so that it is a little more subtle. However, this is really scratchy and it does feel quite cheap, I'm not gonna lie. This is the original brand. Uh, I just don't like this. The lace is shorter on the sides and longer at the front. I don't really like that cut on me. It's okay, but in comparison to the rest, it's not, and it's gonna go back. Okay, and the last and final 10th dress that I picked up is this one. Again, back in my comfort zone with the cream. It is a very pretty, see, this is pretty and girly as well, but it's cream, it's not pink. Sometimes if it's too pink and girly, it's just, too much. So this is a very simple mini dress with adjustable straps, handy, ruched back, so suitable for all sizes, well not all sizes but you know, variety of sizes. I got it in a medium, that's the original brand. The fabric of it feels okay, it feels much nicer than some of the others, so it does feel nice. I feel like I definitely need to give this an iron, style it up with a nice straw bag, maybe some wedges and a straw hat as well maybe. That could be a really cute summer, holiday, evening or daytime dress. Five pounds, this is such a bargain for five pounds. So that is everything that I picked up from everything5pounds.com. If you want me to do any more of these hauls, maybe venture into more trousers, shorts, tops, shoes as well, like do a whole variety of things from everything5pounds.com, then do let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're a bargain queen like me, and I will hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Before I share my blueprint outtake reel from this video, I wanted to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video and for providing an easy, simple online platform for me to redesign my new blog. I can't wait to get my writing juices flowing again and if there are any specific types of blog posts you'd like me to create, do let me know in the comments below and I'll also be sharing my website building journey with you guys over the next couple of months, so stay tuned for more. <coughs> Great start. Oh no. Uh, battery's flashing. Yay. Love that for me. Eyes are always. My eyes are always out. I. <clears throat> all but dip. But like a. But a hem actually timeless. Timeless. I just think it's very classic. Okay, this. Okay, I'm so excited. Uh, can you tell my voice is a little bit croaky? Oh dear, never mind, moving on. See, and it's quite... Oh, excuse me. Um, I can't remember. That kind of dots, those dots, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember. Okay, and the tenth dress. Oh no, still got one more. And of course, and of course I will, and of course follow me.